Howdy people, we are live once more. That's been every day of the week so far. Limited Vibes is here, John Burke, Marge, Alex, Harjot, Yogi, Action VJ. Three mods already checking in. I wasn't sure if I was gonna live stream today or not, but the weather was so gorgeous. I came down here on my e-scooter making a video and I thought, I'm here, I'm on the e-scooter. Let's continue roaming around a bit because why the heck not? So I'm not sure how long this one's gonna be, but I wanted to get out here and take the e-scooter out. There it is right in front of me. I'm going to have this thing strapped to my chest for much of the ride, but there I am in the flesh or on your screen. I'm here at Sugar Beach, somewhere downtown right now. look towards the CN Tower and some people hanging out on Sugar Beach. Hopefully you guys can see and hear everything okay. If the stream cuts out, do bear with me as we are doing something I think I've only ever done once before live streaming with this camera and setup. All right, I'm gonna remount the camera here. Ain't nobody need to see that face again. We'll fix the camera, there we go. So I've got the Segway 9Bot Max. That's my weapon of choice for today. I've got the S24 Ultra. On chat duty, Sebastian is here, Sandy, Caroline, Jelly Bean, Josephine. All right, let me. Oh, we are having it looks like area and see if we can get a better signal going I apologize for this Let me... not sure what the culprit of that janky signal is but It should be good from this area. Let me just scoot out of this immediate vicinity. Got everything. Help if I turn my scooter on. So I'm just hoping if I get out of this area here, the signal will get better. Good old Rogers. 
Let's see. Just heading over to Queens Key. If this doesn't improve it, I'm gonna reconnect. All right, how's that? Is that better? Not entirely, a little bit. Hello, George. All right, let's go over to Sherburn Common and we'll see. Not sure why it's doing that. But we are heading east along the waterfront trail here. Just a friendly reminder, when I do live stream like this, I can't always keep my eyes on the chat. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to be safe first and foremost. Hopefully that connection was just, a, no, I just saw it. Oh well, we'll chalk this one up to being a test. Oh, we went right by the Sherburn Common. Yeah, this would be stream <laughs> number five and four. Wait, I did Sunday afternoon, then Sunday night I did in the Stumbles channel, then Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday. We seem to be heading over towards the Portlands. Jerry L and everyone else who is tuned in. We can go check out the new Cherry Street bridges. They are coming up just on the right. This is something I've been meaning to check out. Gotta be careful here. So this is that new alignment of Cherry Street. This is my first time going this way along here. These bridges were shipped in from Halifax.
I think I've got a destination for my first e-bike video of the year. We'll be turning around soon and going back through them, or past them, I guess, to be more accurate. I'm going to put my sunglasses away when we get to Polson Pier. And the reason for that is I can't see crap on the screen. Going over some dirt. We have been over this bridge before. This is the largest development in Toronto, Villiers Island. bike lane comes to an end there. So we could go straight and head to Cherry Beach. I kind of like it this way a little more. And if you're just tuning in, I'm on the Segway 9Bot Max. It's my first time taking this out all year. I charged it up today. It was being stored with its battery at around 50%. I'm going to get my Move-In Pulse e-bike up and running pretty soon as well. We're going to get one of the best skyline views of the city in a moment. Oh, I think the signal might be getting a bit janky again. Maybe we'll test things in a second here. Looks like there's not going to be any seats. There's a lot of people here. And look at that view. Limited Vibe says, I love Toronto. Rana Kanata, 200 Japanese yen. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Cam says, this is amazing. As Larry David would say, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put my sunglasses into my sweater here.
Phil says Toronto is the best. It's not bad, eh? There's a lot of people out here with cameras and gimbals. That's Rebel Nightclub. Let's look over at the islands. The Sanity Machine 222 from the Sanity Machine channel. Thank you so much for the 222. Much appreciated. I'm going to do a connection speed test while we're just chilling here for a little bit. H. Hustle says it's a gorgeous day. It is. And greeny and stylish bunny. Yep. Campana pool bar is out here. I've always known this area as the docks. Hey, Claudia. So a day ago, I was out in Mississauga. Now we're down on the waterfront at dinner time. Oh yeah, that upload speed here is not good. It's enough to stream, but... Not amazingly well or anything like that. All right, we'll be here for another minute and we'll zoom back. Yeah, Daniel, there used to be a drive through here. There used to be, or a drive in. There used to be a go-kart track. And Gambler says people pay to watch stop motion. <laughs> oh, that's the zoom. I can't even see what I'm doing. Gives me an idea. Time to get moving. JD, this is one of my pocket threes. Try something. Jar says, I see you. How is the audio now? I just turned off the external microphone. I have no idea if you guys can hear. All right, I want to try something.
Jar says, I see you. How is the audio now? I just turned off the external microphone. I have no idea if you guys can hear. All right, let's try. Yogi says audio sounds good. We were there so long my scooter turned itself off. Let's see how that audio turn or holds up while we're moving. Let me know if you hear any excessive wind sounds or anything like that. This is straight off the camera. First live stream of the year on this thing. We're just in testing mode. Going through a bit of wind now. I'm really curious. To hear how that sounded. John says, sounds good. Going through a bit of wind now. I'm really curious. Well, it seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. I have a theory that it's the wireless microphone that interferes with the internet connection sometimes, and that can lead to some of the more excessive choppiness. We'll see if that's been resolved. So I'm going to go left here. We're going to go back to the waterfront trail. There's another fabulous view to be had here. Just on the left. Hopefully the camera's picking that up and doing it justice. Rick Hop is here. Jacob Everson. Rational Analysis says I've e-biked from Darlington to the CN Tower along the waterfront trail. One day I'll keep going to Hamilton. I think that's all broken up now though, right? Along Rouge Park area. I don't think the trail is continuous. At least last year it wasn't. There was a lot of construction going on. JD says it's a serious crane rig. Well, they're building a whole new part of the city, basically. What is the river called? I don't know if it has a name, but it's Villiers Island where we are. Epic Nation HD is here. Hello, Liam. Just unlocking some pretty epic skyline views. We were just over there at Polson Pier. Darren Ross says, hello from Scotland. Matt May says, love all your videos. Thank you, Matt May. Well, 
All right, we're gonna hop back on to the trail here. I'm just gonna wait for there to be a break in cycling traffic. There we go. These are the new bridges that I have yet to get this close to. We're going to stop here and get a closer look at them. These are brand new. Mark Scott says this is to see the area. You haven't been here for years. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Darren Ross. such a nice day. I kind of feel like staying down here by the trail. I am going to have to head north back home at some point. I've already recorded a ride on this thing today, so my battery isn't going to be able to keep going forever, but let's book a left. We could go straight, though, and see. Eh, let's go this way. Could have taken Cherry Street up and over to the Esplanade. All right, now I'm riding into a wind. Let me know if the audio is okay here. Because again, I'm not using my wind muff. Gonna pull over for one second. That building straight ahead that says Heinz on it is a wood construction. Yogi says the audio is still good. I do not believe you. Apparently, who would have thought? I don't need to use an external mic when I stream on this thing. one of those NBC the more you know moments. So this is West on Queens Key, along the downtown waterfront. 
on a absolutely gorgeous Wednesday. I was trying to decide if I should say afternoon or evening. careful through here due to construction the sidewalk and the trail emerged all right thanks for tuning in guys do like subscribe hit the bell to be notified when I go live next spoiler it might be tomorrow morning We are back to where I started the stream here about 30 minutes ago. It's the Red Path Sugar Refinery on the left and Sugar Beach. Reguito. Hey Johnny, my friend's birthday is tomorrow. Stephen, happy birthday tomorrow, Stephen. Or is it Stefan? I apologize <laughs> if I read that incorrectly. That's a easy one to get wrong, but happy birthday to you and thank you so much for the super chat. And thanks for tuning in. And look at all the people here today. John Lennon saying, imagine all the people. I'm saying, look at all the people. Uh, thank you, Reguito. And happy birthday to your friend. A lot of towers going up over on the right side. This weather keeps up. This place is going to be packed on the weekend. We're at the foot of Young Street. squeaky bike. Harbor Square Park on the left. Maybe we'll swing through HTO Park. I'm 
Marie Palmer is here. Love Park over on the right still doesn't have its water in the pond yet. Todd Boothby says hello from a flooded Texas. You'll now <laughs> pretend to be in Toronto. Van Gambler, not too fast, about 15 or so. As that guy sits there with his head buried in his phone, oblivious to the green light we just got. So the harbor front center is on the left. Hello, True Northman. Look at the tower. Five ten, spin on a streetcar. I do not like it. I know they're allowed to be on this trail, but I don't like it when pedestrians walk on the multi-use trail. I think the whole idea of a multi-use trail is stupid. You ought to have bike lanes separated from pedestrian walkways. There are not two modes that should be intermingling, in my opinion. mind the joggers that keep to the right. It's the people that walk on these trails, especially two abreast, that kind of drive me nuts. All right, we're gonna make a left here. done that earlier. Just gonna go take a look at the waterfront here. plane going in for a landing. Welcome to the second man-made beach of this stream. This is H2O Park.
Greetings, Mike Landry. I'm going to do something here. Costas wonder if it's an aquatic plane. And we have the CN Tower behind us. Ooh, that's a collie. Gorgeous dog. I might be doing a morning live stream tomorrow. I know I've been live streaming a lot lately, but I don't think I'll really get a chance to get out and record. Well, oh, there's a helicopter landing. I got a notice from UPS that I have a package arriving between one to four. And I have plans in the evening, so if I have to be home for that, or maybe I'll just go out and make a morning video. Just look at the tower. I'd ordered a new TV bench and it wasn't supposed to come till Monday. And they just hit me up with a delivery pending tomorrow notice awkwardly worded so I'm gonna to want to be home for that and pull my hair out as I have to build said new TV bench just take it really slow through here absolutely no parking here Dinah Avenue on the right. Ooh, a lot of flashing lights up ahead. A fire truck, an ambulance. Hopefully all is well. Oh, I see 
fire fighters coming out of that apartment building. Some connection issues down here. Sorry about that, guys. Let me make sure all is well. Is there a Blue Jay game tonight? Sorry guys, I'll try to ride to a place with a better connection. All right, I'm gonna go over to Strawn and then we're gonna go north. This is Coronation Park. I've got a jacket in my backpack and this is the first I've had a thought to put it on. We're going to make a right just up here.
Ship says they're down 6-1 in the bottom of the 10th. Oh, I missed it. Just waiting for the light here. It's the Prince's Gates on the left. And we're going north up Strawn. Spelled S T R A C H A N. It's not uncommon to see horse poop in the bike lanes on Strawn. The police have their horse stables just in to the left of here. Scooter is putting up the hill here. I've got about 40% battery left. That should be enough to get us up to Midtown. Liberty Village on the left, Ordnance Street on the right. It's a new street, Ordnance Street. That'll take you over to the Garrison Crossing. Wellington Street. You know what? Wellington has a pretty new bike lane on it, a protected bike lane. Yeah, I will say my, my ass hurts all the time with this thing. Let's check it out, eh? So we're going east in the bi directional protected bike lanes. On Wellington, this will take us over past the well. I think that was the subject of Ken's video yesterday. There's the Garrison Crossing on the right, Stanley Park on the left. I do not like it when people jog in the bike lanes. Especially narrow ones like this. And on a positive note, what a gorgeous day this is. Got the right away, buddy. Nope. You do not have the right away. What the? What are you doing? I don't know if the camera picked that up. 
But a lady followed that truck right through the intersection or that van. Learn how four ways go. I see my thing did not record that properly. Bathurst Street. Victoria Square Park on the right. Another four-way stop. There's the well on the right. Detour ends, thank you. Oh. There's some horse poop. Yes, let's stop on the crossing. Of course he's driving a Mercedes. Who else would do that? Sad sight on the right. The bike lane just kind of ends nice right here. Thanks. <laughs> so we'll just step, step out. It's a nice scooter.
Oh, we got a super chat. Lisa Gibson, 279. Thank you for the 279 to go towards a refreshing drink. Thank you, Lisa Gibson. As we head north up Blue Jays Way, it looks like there's a lot of disappointed Blue Jays fans. Coming up this way. was on Blue Jays Way. Now we're on Peter Street. Thank you again, Lisa Gibson. This is Adelaide Street. Oh, the bike lanes now on the north side of Adelaide Street this might be my first time riding in them over here a cocktail bar just here on the left that I went to on Saturday night that was pretty good. Not Melrose, but this one on the left. Paradise, I think it's called. And Crocodile Rock has a facade over it. Here on the left, rest in peace. Looks like they're planning to build a monster tower on that site. Simcoe Street. All right, we've made it to University Avenue. This is right around the spot where we took in the eclipse from. Actually, that was north of Queen Street, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go north here. rip a little bit. We're gonna blast up to Bloor Street. Ah, 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 ah. That guy and that lady just ran in front of a bus. That's what he was yelling at. Dabmar 201. Thank you, Dabmar. Thank you very much for the 
the support. I'm not sure why that guy just decided to stop there. Maybe he's turning left. But thank you, Davlar. Yeah, it was right along here on the right where we stopped and got a view of the moon sliding in front of the sun. Dundas Street West. First of all, it says never run <laughs> in front of buses. Yeah, that's good advice generally. Bus wrestling is a dying sport. Eight more seconds, we can go. Going through an area known as Hospital Row, racing up towards Queens Park. We're also racing up to Midtown before this thing runs out of battery. is College Street, which recently had some protected bike lanes installed. David says, I don't think I could do that. It looks too dangerous. And that straight ahead is the Provincial Legislative Assembly. It's what we would call an impatient queue jumper. So 
such a fun stretch of bike lanes to ride up. is Wellesley Street. That's a great place to park. Oh yeah. It's a great place to park. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'll move it out of the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mark D says, Johnny's <laughs> really bombing it. I think we're about to lose our bike lane. You know what? Since we're going to get tangled in some thick traffic. Let's scoot away from it. Head over to Hoskin. University of Toronto grounds. Robarts Library straight ahead. And I'm going to make a right here at St. George and we'll take this up to Bloor Street. Seems like a better way than sticking to Queens Park. Found another bike lane, some food trucks on the left. And this is Bloor Street West, so let's go east here. They've really improved these bike lanes too.
So this is east on Bloor Street West. Royal Ontario Museum coming up on the right. back to Queen's Park. And this stretch of Bloor Street is called the Mink Mile. Ooh, look at that. A couple of Lambos. This would be the place where you would be most likely to see those in the city. My speed is, we're going 18 kilometers per hour. And this is Bay Street. And since I just want to stay in bike lanes, we're going to go north here. This is Young Street. We're going to get a scramble crossing. So we're north of downtown, heading north up Young Street. I do have a thought to stop at Burrito Boys and pick up my dinner. 6.15, that would be good timing on that. I mean, says I miss Liam. Camp says Yum Burrito Boys. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Lisa, whatever you got from. Farm boy. As we 
me wait for the light to change. The video I recorded was going down Young Street in the other direction. Josephine says I've been streaming a lot. A fair bit, eh? Don't get used to it. <laughs> I'll probably be back to the usual three, maybe four times a week next week. And I want to thank the mods for their good work during a stream like this when I really can't keep my eye on what's going on in the chat too closely. Let's see, do I have, well, it looks like we're having some connection snags through here. I apologize for that. I'm gonna see if I have the Burrito Boys app on my phone. No, I don't. Greetings, Adrian. Arjot says the Raptors are playing tonight. Light change. And this is going to be an uphill climb from here on up to just north of St. Clair. as I always behave. Yeah guys, I have an idea that I think might work for the uh, fixing some of the hiccups in the stream. I think this is only my second time ever recording a scooter stream with the Pocket 3. Got a lot of right turning vehicles here, gotta be super careful. Again, a fairly steep uphill climb.
up to St. Clair. Can't tell I'm in get me home mode. Moving a little quicker. Go this way. Why not? Get off Young Street. Which I guess means I won't be going to Burrito Boys. Alright, we're gonna go up to Oriole Park here. I have an idea for what I can do with the connection. Because we are not having <laughs> right now. And I want to talk that. We on this thing. Live stream. Maybe. All right, let's just go over to that bench.
Yeah, and the valve costs. I'm gonna see if I can fix that. But Lisa, five dollars. Good job. Thank you, Lisa. And good job on you for whatever that is you ordered from Farm Boy. Get this thing out of tilt lock mode. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to my first scooter stream of the year. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank our mods, channel members, Patreon supporters, just everyone who tuned in. Thank you so much. And those who sent support as well. As I rode this beast around the downtown waterfront and then made my way up to Oriel Park here in Midtown. Time to test my next stream and get myself some dinner. And thanks to Yogi for showing up. It's been a long time. Mark D, $10. Thanks. Johnny Strides enjoyed the scoot to the Portlands. Thank you, Mark D, as well. I'm sure I'll run into you on a future stream. Great. Thank you, Brad Palmer, Davmar, and everyone else. I went with the iPhone 15 instead of the S24 for the chat. Don't know why, but all right. Have a good day, guys. I might live stream tomorrow morning again. And